Transmedics Group stock has dropped about 25% after hours today. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether this is a great opportunity to buy this stock. And in doing so, I'm going to cover their business model briefly. Then I'm going to talk about the two reasons why the stock has dropped significantly. Then I'll cover some financials and finally I'll do a valuation. Let's first look at their business model. As you can see on the screen, Transmedics provide an end-to-end -end solution for organ transplantation. From donor center till the transplant center, they'll take care of the logistics, surgical retrieval. And for the transport, they have the only FDA approved technology platform. So that looks like a box uh, for lack of a better term. It's reusable, but it needs a new cartridge for each transport and that cartridge needs to be bought from Transmedic so they can make some money on the consumables. And they also acquired an airline, Summit Aviation, and they want to control the transport as well. So this is an end-to-end -end solution. Very interesting business, very noble business. Let's now look at the two reasons why the stock has fallen down. The first reason is on the screen. Their gross margin has dropped by 5%. It used to be 61% a year ago and now it's at 56%. So that has spooked the investors on whether the competition is catching up, why are they needing to cut prices. And the second reason is with respect to the revenue growth, as you can see on the screen, they were growing triple digits quarter over quarter, right? 117%, 133%, 158%. And this quarter, when they just reported today, they gave a growth rate of 63%. And for the next quarter, they're only saying 42% growth. So from triple digits to 60% to 40%. So people are thinking that the growth story is over and they're struggling, but the management is saying this is probably due to the seasonality and they're confident that they can re-accelerate the growth. Now let's look at some financials. As you can see on the screen, the market cap is 4.2 billion and revenue is 400 million. That's a price to sales of 10. And this is before the drop. Even after the drop, the market cap would be about 3.5 billion and that is still a price to sales of eight or nine that is still expensive. So the stock is still expensive at $96. Let's move on to the balance sheet. They have close to $330 million of cash and cash equivalents, but they also have close to $500 million of debt in the form of convertible notes. So this happened because they have acquired that airline and that's going to be very expensive, right? They have multiple planes that they have acquired. One thing that I did not like is in the earnings presentation, they talked about $330 million of cash, but they did not mention the debt. And that actually rubs me in the wrong way that they're not very honest. But anyway, the business is great. Uh, they're doing something good. So I will give them a pass on that. With respect to the number of outstanding shares, they currently have 36 million. And a year ago, they had 32.5 million. So that's about 10% dilution. And that is very significant. Before I move on to the valuation, I want to clarify that this is not financial advice. I'm not qualified to give financial advice. I'm simply recording my thoughts about Transmedics. I'm going to show two cases, one with reasonable assumptions and the other one with great execution. In the reasonable assumptions case, as you can see on the screen, in 2024, they're guiding for $435 million of revenue. And I'm estimating a growth rate of 30% year over year for the next four years. Don't think that this is less because as the company gets bigger and bigger, it's hard for them to grow. It's very easy when they were $100 million of revenue, 100 to 200 million is easy to achieve, but not 400 to 800 million, right? With that, they'll make close to $1.2 billion of revenue in 2028. The gross margin is dropping 56%. Let's see if it will improve in the coming years. Uh, but a company that's making close to 56% gross margin usually gets about 20% net margin. Um, it could be higher or lower, but I'm just giving an estimate based on my experience with companies, right, that have similar gross margins and similar businesses. So with that, they'll make close to $250 million of net income in 2028. I'm assigning a multiple of 35. That's a rich multiple, but I think it's reasonable because it's very niche business. And I think they are creating a very um, big mode for themselves in this business. So I can pay a multiple of 35 with which this company would be worth about $8.7 billion in 2028. 
They currently have 36 million outstanding shares. I think they are going to continue to dilute the shareholders. I am assuming 8% dilution year over year with which they will have close to 50 million outstanding shares by 2028. So they can use this dilution to pay off some of that debt, right? Um, or they can invest in more planes, etc. So I still think they have a lot of capital expenditure to come because they bought the airline for US. They want to expand to Europe. So obviously they need logistics there as well. So they may acquire another small airline in Europe. So that's why I'm assuming this dilution. If you think I'm being unreasonable by assuming 8% dilution year over year, feel free to do your own calculation. But this is my estimate. So with that, I get a stock price of $178 in 2028. Currently they're at $96 after the drop, right? That's about 85% gain, which is very good gain. Let me now move on to the great execution case. In this case, I'm assuming 40% growth rate where they can get close to $1.7 billion of revenue. Currently, they are doing close to 2,500 2, transplants a year and their plan is to quadruple that by 2028, 10,000 transplants. So I am actually extrapolating that revenue four times, right? 0.4 million billion now to 1.7 billion, that's four times. So assuming that the cost of each transplant is going to stay the same, right? So 1.7 billion, I think is hard to achieve, but this is great execution case, right? So that's why I'm assuming 40% growth rate year over year. And I'm still keeping the net profit margin as the same. Uh, I think the gross margins for this kind of business, which is transport heavy, um, are going to be lower, but 20% margin will get them close to $330 million of net income in 2028. I'm assigning 45 multiple, which is a phenomenal multiple. Again, they're creating a mode for themselves, a very niche industry. I think they they can get 45 multiple. People may pay 45 multiple. With that, they would be close to $15 billion of market cap in 2028. I'm assuming the dilution same. With that, their stock price would be $300 in 2028. Currently, they're close to 100 bucks, right? So that's a triple, 220% gain in four years. And that's going to be a multi-bagger. So in summary, I'm getting 85% gain in the reasonable assumptions case and close to triple in the great execution case. Personally, for me, I look at the reasonable assumptions case and I need at least a double there, right? So for me to get a double there, I need the stock price to drop to about $90. But again, there is some risk involved in this, right? So when there is risk, I need a bigger gain. So a double in the reasonable assumptions case is also not okay with me because this is still a risky business, right? So I don't know whether they can grow 30% year over year or not. What if they hit a brick wall with respect to growth, right? And what if they may not be able to expand in Europe? Then the growth rate has, is going to suffer even more, right? And I don't know whether people are going to pay a 35 multiple for this business. So, and there's the balance sheet is not great, right? And it may get worse in future because they still have to invest in the transport. So with the kind of risk that this company has, I need a bigger reward than a double in the reasonable assumptions case. So personally, I would be willing to buy this stock at 70 or $65. It may not get there. Uh, but if you personally think that this is a quality business, I think it's okay to buy a little bit, maybe like a thousand bucks, like 1% of your portfolio just to have a start. Because we don't know, this may drop like Celsius stock. Celsius was growing so fast it was at close to like 100 bucks and all of a sudden it's now at 30 bucks because their growth has stopped and the same thing can happen with this kind of business right so why to have that FOMO so to conclude I'm not going to buy this stock at the same time I don't think it's a bad idea to start a position because in the great execution case I'm looking at a triple right so 1% of the portfolio um, can be dedicated to stocks like this, but at the same time, I would buy slow. I'm not going to put all 1% at once. Uh, I'll let the stock settle. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.